I think it's a wonderful time to be a part of commercialization of space. What we're going to see is, is an unfolding of a new industry. You don't know where it's going to lead. It's becoming easier and easier to enter the market and um, the demand is growing, not just from government customers, but from private customers as well. And Aegis Aerospace is right in the middle of all of that. Aegis Aerospace is a woman-owned and Hispanic-owned aerospace and defense company. We perform modeling and simulation, systems engineering and integration, cybersecurity, acquisition management, and most recently, space testing as a service. The fact that we're privately owned and that Stephanie Murphy is such an entrepreneurial business owner gives us the flexibility to try lots of different things, and we have. That includes commercializing space testing as a service. We're the first company to do that. We have been flying Missy missions every six months, and we have put almost 1,500 experiments and payloads in space in that time for organizations ranging from two-year colleges uh, to MIT, to NASA and many, many large and small companies. You don't have to be a government customer anymore or a government scientist to access space science and space research. You can be um, a university, a private company, a startup, um, a small community college, an elementary school, and you can have access to space testing. And so I think that's the bridge that's really important to us that we're helping um, try to cover the gap. As a young company, small company, working with Aegis was really fantastic because they're, they're postured well to help companies on a budget like ours actually get some answers quickly and buy down the risk. Now today, as a larger company where we're over 600 people and we're in the thick of building the space station, we're excited with the opportunities to work with Aegis as a partner. We have been a family business since day one, and the strong values that we had at home in our family translated into the business as well. We treat our employees like family, and um, I think those values also translate into our relationships with our customers. Just like building any new economy, it's going to require a lot of different efforts from a lot of different individual companies to make it real, and so we're excited that we have this relationship with Aegis Aerospace to do all this together. We've been responsible for almost three million hours of payload operations in space over 100 launches and over 600 payloads put into orbit. One of the big things that we've been working on recently is RAC, which is one of our lunar payloads, and it's currently being prepped for delivery and will launch in the next couple of years to the moon. And that's really exciting for me personally because it's one of the first things that will be going back to the moon since Apollo, and I've gotten to be a big part of that. The moon is a very difficult environment. It's not just the vacuum, it's not just the radiation, it's not just the cold or the heat. It's also the moon dust. It's sharp and it sticks to things and it gets in everywhere and it will ruin equipment. So before we can put people on the moon to live, we have to know how new technologies and new materials will interact with that lunar dust. They call it regolith. We have a new challenge every day. Uh, it's fun, but it's hard and we can't get it done if we don't all work together. There is true teamwork, there's collaboration, and it's just a really good feeling to be part of a group of people that all have a common goal. I think it'll be a very special moment for Aegis Aerospace when we have our first lunar payload on the lunar surface. I am actually very new to the aerospace industry, so I am looking forward to growing with the team. And the first time you see something that you've worked on and built launched to space, it's like, wow, I don't know if I even believe this. I look forward to witnessing uh, the first woman and the person of color stepping on the moon. I think the space industry is right on the cusp of a very exciting time. We finally landed on a formula that works. And that formula is public-private partnerships with entrepreneurs. You need leadership that has an entrepreneurial spirit, an innovative spirit. You know, we're developing technologies and solutions that have never been thought of before, answering um, challenges and solving problems that have never come up before. And it's just a, it's a great time to be a part of the industry and we're looking forward to our bright future. <laughs>